Hey, this is Rick from Mike and Rick Outdoors, and I want to come out here and tell you about how good these tents have held up. And I specifically want to talk to you about this Kodiak Canvas Flex Bow tent. And then Mike has a tent over here, and I'm going to show you all these tents. And there's several other tents we have. We had a horrendous sun thunderstorm roll through, I think it was Wednesday night here. It's Friday night now. And one of the well, actually, three tents blew over or were in the process of going down. We had several tents. I'll, I'll get into that in just a minute. But I'm telling you, this Flexbo tent has shocked me how well it holds up. There's one pole on each end, you can see. And I'm just going to walk over here and show it to you. Because you can hear me with this microphone really well. But there's one pole here on both ends. There's two cross pieces here. And then there's a one down the middle, a pole down the middle, a ridge pole, and then one like this on the other side. That's it. There's no tie downs. There are, well, I don't want to say eight or ten different tie downs as far as on, on the base of the tent. And I have really big stakes, steel stakes, and I drew, drove those into the ground. And, and the weather was good the night we or day we got here, and there wasn't supposed to be any bad weather. But I, you know, knowing that in the past what's happened, I drove those stakes in the ground and then a storm just kicked up around 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. Lightning, thunder, I mean, it was blowing probably 60 plus miles an hour, if not 50 plus. It was really bad. And this tent, I wish I had a video of it. I was, we actually got in our vehicles because the lightning was so bad, we thought, well, hey, it's better to be in our vehicles rather than in the tent. So we got in our vehicles and we were facing the tent and this tent was just solid. I mean, it was just, you know, it was flapped a little bit as far as, you know, the course is fabric. It's gonna move or flap a little, but the base, the top, uh, even this awning out front, it was whipping around a little bit, but it never moved because I have really big stakes in the ground on it. And the, the rope that comes with it is really strong. It's just a solid material and construction. This thing did not move. I'm telling you, if you want a solid four season tent that's roomy, this is like a, oh, I think it's an eight by 10 or eight by 12. It's the largest flexbow tent. They say it sleeps eight people, but for me it sleeps one because I have a big cot, I have a table. And in fact, I'll show you inside in just a second, but I just want to come back and tell you, I've done a review on this tent before, but this thing, is, it held up so well in this thunderstorm. And then when we were out here in November last year in 12, 15 degree weather at night, and we had the Mr. Buddy heater, I'll have a link for that below. I'll have a link for this tent here. And you'll see right here, a review of the tent uh, in, in the upper right hand corner. So all that information is gonna be here. I'm just telling you, if you don't want a massive 12 by 12 tent, and you don't care about having a wood stove in it, this is an awesome tent. Let me show you inside real quick, and then I'm gonna go show you some of these other tents and just kind of give you an idea of what to expect. You, you, know, you get what you pay for, right? Let me show you inside real fast. Okay, before we go inside, let's just look at these down at the bottom. There's a corner a stake here. There's one there. This here in the middle that holds this pole, there's no stake, but then there's one here. So there's four corners. There's two uh, stake, places of stake on the ends, and there are three in the middle on both front and back. And there's a door on both sides. Now, I actually forgot to nail this one down or stake this one down up front. And the wind was just blowing in from the front, but it still held up really well. And even though, even though I forgot that one right there, but you can see right here, the pole, these are really strong poles. They're not cheap. And this rope is, is nice and strong. And the way these attach and, and, and oh, you know, you pull them, so they get the, the um, you tighten up the rope on it. It's really nice because you just hook it right there and you pull it up and tighten it up. Super simple. All right, let's look inside really fast. I just want to show you the inside of this. There's two doors on either side and huge windows. Now there's not windows on the end, but there's these vents up top. And if you're running a heater or something in here, it's good to have those vents. But you can see right here, I have a beautiful view of the lake if I have that zipped up. 
you can see, I mean, yeah, it's a four season tent, but I like having this out in the summer because I, I just open these windows up and I get a lot of air coming through. It's very comfortable. And you can see in here that this is a one person tent, a big REI Kingdom cot and a three inch memory foam on it. And in the description below, I'll have information on how I put that cot together. It's really nice. And then I got a table. I normally have like my laptop. I've had this here last couple nights, a laptop here. I have a marine battery and I have, oh, I always forget the name of it. It's an inverter. It's a 2000 watt inverter. And I charge my laptop. I charge, you know, my GoPro, my DJI dr drone. I charge everything here. I have a, a lantern. And this is just really nice and comfortable for one person. Now I have a chair that's sitting out by the campfire right now. So normally there's a chair in here. But I just want to show you how awesome this tent is. It's canvas. I mean, it's double stitched. This is just a solid tent. And I want to say I spent six or seven hundred dollars on it, but it's worth it. You know, if you if you're gonna go cheap, you're gonna get what you pay for. So let's walk over here real quick. So Mike's tent is right here, and it is also a Kodiak canvas tent. Let me make sure, you know, it's a cabin style. And I'm gonna go here and see exactly what the name is. Yep, there's the bear claw. And it's a Kodiak canvas tent. It's a 12 by 12. And you can see this thing didn't move in the wind, but it is tied down really well. <laughs> oh, dogs. That's okay, I got some dogs in the, in the video. Uh, you can see how well it's tied down. There's a stove pipe uh, location deal here, so you can unzip that and put your wood stove in. But I just wanted to show you his tent right here. He probably could have tightened it up a little bit better, but it was uh, stood the storms really well. And then my tent over there is just incredible. Now, without naming names here, there's a big tent right there, and it's, it is a really big roomy tent. But man, the wind got a hold of that, and the stakes aren't near as good. Now we're gonna use it again in the future, but we're gonna have better tie downs and a lot better stakes. But that one, we were about to lose it. And the thing about that is, that particular tent, it has a mesh top or a screen top. So I put it up in the rainstorm one time, and it got soaked in it before I can get that rain fly on. But that one was flying down, that was, that was coming down. It took five of us, well, we had five people, yeah. We had five of us and it was, we had a couple inside holding it up while three of us were outside driving big stakes in the ground and, and tying it down so it wouldn't blow away. And then over here, we have, well, you can see, there, we had another windstorm today. It wasn't as bad as the, the thunderstorm the other night, but on the left, there's that tent that's collapsed. It just basically collapsed in the middle, but it's done that a couple times now. And then that shower tent is just, the, the there's the poles that just aren't that strong. And Mike's going to have come up with a video on it. And then how he has a stronger poles. And it'll probably withstand most any storm. But both of those have come down. Last night, that tent on the right, which is a shower tent, it completely collapsed. It wasn't, it wasn't last night, it was the night before in the thunderstorm. So... You can see it's beautiful out here. We're at the Amir Monte Reservoir in Southwest Colorado by Norwood. It's really about 15 miles or so south of Norwood. I think that's Lone Cone Mountain right there. I call it the Lonely Mountain. Okay, so we're gonna wrap this video up here, but a lot of what Mike and I are doing and you're gonna see from, you know, in the past and from here on out, we are getting new equipment and we're working with different suppliers, different companies. And we're always getting some new stuff. Sometimes it's been given to us and we're reviewing it. Most of the time we're still buying it still. But when we get tents like this, and personally I, I bought this tent and I bought it from Cabela's actually. It's a Flexbo tent from Cabela's. Mike bought his and he got a discount on it. He got his tent through the Kodiak Canvas company itself. And so they started working with us on the tents, giving us a discount. But, you know, these other tents here, and I don't really want to name names on the ones that collapse, but they're the ones, I don't want to say this, but, okay, they're the ones you can buy at the box stores. Whatever box store name you can think of, 
when you want to go get a tent and you want to spend 100 150 bucks maybe 200 max these tents that collapse are those tents these tents that we paid six seven eight hundred nine hundred dollars for they hold up i'm just telling you they're awesome and they're four season tents we mike and i love these tents and he's got his wood a wood stove in his not on this trip because it's in august we don't have any heating sources because we don't need them on this trip but we've got the big ability to heat to be out in really cold temperatures and i'm just but the main reason i really want to talk to you guys today was to show you how well these held up this was a really bad storm and again, it's so bad that we had to get in our vehicles. Some of the tents were coming down, but these two tents, the Kodiak canvases, they were solid, staying super solid. I was watching them really close. Great tents, there's descriptions, there's information links in, in the description below. Check them out, you'll really like them. If you, if you want to just save a little bit of extra money and go with these tents, this is the way to go. I'm just, from my experience with all the tents I've ever had, this is the best tent I've ever had. All right, thanks for joining me here on Mike and Rick Outdoors. We have a lot more videos coming up. We're going to be all over this year, the rest of this year, next year. We're going to be spreading out more, doing more things, more reviews. Keep an eye out for new videos and new playlists. And I just want to let you know I'm starting a new one, and it's on fly fishing. And I did the video this morning. It'll probably be up maybe before this video. Let's just say it will be. And I'll have a link in the, in the description below for that playlist. And I'm going to show the process. I go from knowing nothing. I am really a newbie. It's I'm a dummy with fly fishing or I'm a beginner, whatever you want to say. And I'm going to be just showing my progress as I learn how to fly fish. All right. Thanks for joining us. And please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications. So you'll be alerted as soon as we put out new videos. And Mike and I will see you back out here in Colorado or somewhere else in the next video.